हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल असल इंटरनेशनल एकेडमी इन 2021 टुडे आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन दैट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट एलोकेशन ऑफ सैंपल साइज बाय स्टैटिफाइड रैंडम सैंपलिंग डू यू डू यू नो दैट देयर आर फोर मेथड्स टू एलोकेट द सैंपल साइज बाय स्टैटिफाइड रैंडम सैंपलिंग इक्वल एलोकेशन प्रोपोर्शनल एलोकेशन ऑप्टिमम एलोकेशन एंड नेम एंड एलोकेशन I will discuss uh, each of these allocations step by step. So, also like that video because this video is very very interesting and beneficial to you. So, without wasting any time, let's start the lecture. So, here I am going to share you the. Uh, there are. Just follow the steps. There are four methods. to allocate the sample size by stratified random sampling by stratified random sampling you can write by stratified sampling which are here number 1 equal allocation Number second, proportional allocation. This is very very important. Proportional allocation. Proportional allocation. Number third is optimum allocation. And last is number four. name and allocation name and allocation so first of all i'm going to explain the equal allocation number 1 now i'm going to discuss about the equal allocation what is the equal allocation very very easiest definition i'm going to explain which nobody tells you about that you can simply write by this allocation very very easiest definition by this allocation equal number of units uh equal number of units are selected from each stratum are selected from each stratum for example you can write and formula is used and formula is used very simply small n iota simply is equal to small n over k so this is a formula for For a uh, equal allocation, and it does equal to one, two, three up to so on. Okay, so must remember that by this allocation, by equal number of units are selected from each stratum. So formula is used small and it does equal to small number. Okay, simply very very easy. Second point, proportional allocation. This is very very important. This uh, proportional allocation numerical problems are very very important. And definition, proportional allocation. what is the proportional allocation very very short to definition discussing here follow the steps when the total sample size small n distributed among distributed among different strata different strata in proportion to sizes of strata in proportion to sizes of strata in proportion to sizes of strata 
this is called as proportional allocation and similarly formula is used and formula is used which is very important small n aorta is equal to small n capital n aorta over capital n so this is a formula for proportional allocation which we use in the calculation very simple you can by this formula you can bind the definition of proportional allocation how when the total sample size is small this is the total sample size small n uh, let distributed bound difference. This is the distributed bound different strata. Iota is R1, 2, 3, up to so different strata. Next, in proportion, equal divide shows the air proportion to sizes of strata. This is the size strata. This is called as proportional allocation. So here, capital N is proportional size. And small n iota is equal to I stratum size, sorry, I sample size. And at the last, uh, capital N aorta. Capital N aorta is the I stratum size. I stratum size. That's clear. Now moving my uh, third, uh, third, uh, third is, uh, method, optimum allocation. Third, optimum allocation. What is the optimum allocation? Very well, easy definition is writing here. When the when cost of selecting the sample. is given sample is given i have a real life example of about optimal allocation very easiest but easiest example when cost of selecting the sample is given then optimum allocation is used Optimum allocation is used. Must remember. And the you can write the example, you can write the example here. When cost of selecting sample, let's example of a shopping mall. When you move a shopping mall, we select any product you can write here, shirt or pants. You can you pay the price, or you pay the cost of that product. Writing here, when cost of selecting the sample, selecting shows that uh, shirt pants we select. Then, when cost of selecting sample is given, then optimum allocation is used. We pay the cost to the cashier. So, this is called as optimum allocation. Then, optimum allocation is used. Very simply, simply example. Next, and formula is used. Formula. And formula is used. Small n aorta simply is equal to small n capital N iota sigma iota divided by square root of C iota divided next will be higher summation simply capital N iota sigma iota divided by square root of C iota so this is the formula of this is the formula of optimum allocation and simply Small n iota is equal to small n capital n iota sigma iota square root of c with that investment mission. Now we will discuss about the uh, c iota. What is the c iota? Very easiest cost of selecting sample. Cost of selecting sample from its strength. From its that's here and small and the sample size and capital and aorta will discuss here capital and is the i uh, capital and is the i stratum size and next sigma iota what is sigma iota sigma iota is the standard deviation standard deviation 
of I stratum standard deviation of I stratum that's clear now last now last method is given here name and allocation what is the name and allocation so must must bond that last point which is very very uh, important for you name and allocation What is name allocation? You can write here name and allocation. Name and allocation. Minimizes the minimizes the name and allocation minimizes the stratified sample mean stratified. Sample mean for a fixed total sample size for a fixed total sample size small and formula is used simply able to measure minimizes the uh, sorry minimizes the variance minimizes the variance so sorry about that minimizes the variance of stratified sample mean for a fixed total sample size small n and formula is used which is similar to above small n iota is equal to small n capital n iota sigma iota divided by simply mission capital n iota and sigma iota so this is the formula of name and i hope that you gain a lot of points and concepts about that thanks for watching the video if you like this video then kindly must subscribe to my youtube channel and must press bell icon button for gain notification of my new lecture and must press the all notification button if you press all notification to be to get the automatically notification on each on each video goodbye